I just switched to DaVinci Resolve from Adobe Premiere and I was blown away. It was truly absurd how much faster and easier it was to key out green screen than in Adobe apps. This isn't clickbait. You're going to literally die. You have to see it to believe it. So I started in Premiere bringing in some green screen footage. I dragged my green screen footage into my timeline. Plays back pretty good. Then I used the built-in color key effect in Premiere. I used the color picker to choose the green on my background and then keyed it out but I couldn't get a good key without that little bit remaining. I tried picking the darker green because I thought it would make it better, but it made it worse. And just for posterity, I tried the ultra key, which I've never used before, but the final key was like 90% good and you can't have 90% with the key. It has to be 100. So I decided to do what I usually do and brought it into After Effects. So over in After Effects, I dragged in my green screen footage, brought it into the timeline, then used the standard green screen effect, key light. Then I found a good frame and then I did the masking and then use the color picker to choose the color I wanted to key out. It's usually better if you use the darker green. Then I changed the mode to screen matte. Then I adjusted the clip black and the clip white so everything around me was black and everything in me was white. Then my edges were too soft so I turned down the additional clip radius. The key looked pretty good so I added a white solid behind me just to make sure that none of the background was showing and no white was showing through me. I did it with the black too. Too many times I've done a key in After Effects, spent all the time rendering, and then brought it into Premiere, and I can see artifacts around me or inside me. I promise I'll stop saying inside me. So I check, check, check to make sure that the mat was good, and once I made sure, I added it to the render queue. So I'm outputting with a transparency layer, so I have to use ProRes 4x4. It's my favorite codec with an alpha channel. Yes, I have a favorite codec. Since I've been doing this a lot, I remembered that I had to do RGB plus alpha and change pre-multiplied to unmatted. Then I chose my output folder and started the render. When I clicked render, I was a little surprised at how long it was going to take, so I checked my activity monitor to make sure that my computer was being 100% used. All systems go. And then, since I didn't want to wait around for it to render, I remembered that I hadn't unloaded the dishwasher, so I did that. My bowl didn't get fully washed. And then I remembered that I was hungry, so I made a salad. It was really good. After quite a while, it finished. I was surprised because the clip is so short. Then I bought the newly created file into Premiere and was surprised that it went from 500 megabytes for the origin clip to 4.2 gigabytes for the keyed clip. All the codecs with alpha channels are really big. Then I dropped in the keyed footage, found my backdrop. I had to enlarge it a bit, add a little blur. I used a Gaussian blur. Then I had to make myself bigger so I looked like I belonged in the frame, but I definitely wasn't bright enough so I had to add a little lumetri color effect. I brightened myself up and made myself a little bit warmer. Then I played back my clip. What's going on? How is this happening? So it worked and it took 15 minutes. I wondered if it would take less time if I replaced the sequence with an After Effects composition. So I right clicked on the clip that I wanted to key and said, replace with an After Effects composition. And soon after, Premiere froze. Yay. Then I went over to DaVinci Resolve. Let's see how long that takes. Okay, so first in DaVinci Resolve, I dragged in my green screen clip, changed the frame rate, then I generated optimized media because it plays back a little faster. Only 10 seconds, that's nice. Then I dragged my clip into the timeline. Plays back okay. Then I added the 3D keyer. That's what DaVinci Resolve uses for keying. Then I changed the viewer mode to open effects. Then I clicked the color picker and dragged the mouse over all the areas I wanted to key out. And it keyed right away. I added my crop. Then I turned up despill because there was a lot of green around me. Then I dragged in my background and did the same things I did in Premiere. I tried adding a lens blur, but I have the free version, so it didn't work. But a Gaussian blur works just fine. I moved myself around in the frame and I played back and it played back perfectly. What's going on? How is this happening? But I wasn't in exactly the right place, so I moved myself around a little bit more. Again, it played back really smooth. I could even move the scrubber around and there was no stuttering. I thought I was a little dark looking, so I turned up the gain on myself and I turned up the gain on the background. Then I played back my footage and it played back perfectly. Oh, this makes a lot more sense now. So DaVinci Resolve took about three minutes and After Effects took 15 minutes. DaVinci Resolve is such a better solution for compositing, it's not even funny.